Right. Okay. So well, good evening, evening, everybody. Um, and sort of welcome to my lightning talk on Angular Flex layout. Um, my name is Duncan Faulkner, and I'm a senior software engineer for a satellite communications company in uh, based in the UK. Uh, my contact details are on screen, so feel free to sort of connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn or drop me an email. Um, I'm going to give a brief overview of the Angular Flex layout library. So what is Angular Flex Layout? Angular Flex Layout is a, an API that's intuitive list of directives that can be used on HTML containers and elements. So instead of using traditional style sheets, developers define their layouts directly in the HTML. And at the bottom there, we have a, a simple example where we've got a directive um, with, with the row in there and the, the flex. So why use Angular Flex Layout? So if you're looking for something, an alternative way to write Flex Layout, uh, or CSS Grid for that matter, then Angular Flex Layout might be the library you've been looking for. Some of the main advantages for Angular Flex Layout are the library is a pure TypeScript layout engine. It uses HTML markup to specify layout configurations. A responsive API can specify different layouts, sizing, visibilities, viewports, and display devices. It's completely independent of Angular material and includes CSS Grid as well, requires no external style sheets, and is written and maintained by the Angular team and the community. So setting up Angular Flex layout, we've got three options. We can set it up with so Flexbox uh, and import Flexbox itself using the, um, sorry, we, we can import both of them using the Flexbox and the CSS Grid using the Flex Layout module, or we can specify either the Flexbox module for Flexbox or the Grid module for the CSS Grid. So how do you use Angular Flex Layout? And Angular Flex Layout works by dealing with one row or column at a time. Rows flow across the main screen and columns on the cross axis. So main axis being left to right, Cross axis being top to bottom. There are only a few directives that are used on the parent containers versus those used on the child elements. And here we can see the main ones and their, and their Flexbox equivalents. And the API for the DOM elements, uh, there are a few more uh, directives that affect the flow and layout of child elements. And here we can see the main ones and the Flexbox equivalents as well. Uh, the main one there really being the FX, FX Flex, uh, which does the, the grow and the shrink and stuff. So on a row layout, here we have a colored set of boxes that are left aligned um, and they stretch the full height of the parent container. Um, so this is a flex layout with a row and start and stretch as the alignment. Whereas with the column layout, the color boxes are aligned top to bottom uh, and stretch the full width of the parent container. Angular Flex layout has a set of responsive features that enable developers to easily change the UX la uh, layout configurations for, uh, for different display devices. And here we can sort of see some of the breakpoints um, for uh, the responsive API. Um, there are a few more to this as well, um, but this is just a, a, a small sample of them. And likewise for Angular Flex Layer, it provides a smart syntactic directives to allow developers to easily and intuitively create responsive and adaptive layouts using CSS Grid as well. And some of the CDS grid API for DOM elements and here's some of the directives and their allowed values. And finally, before I finish, I would just like to thank a few people for whom I couldn't have done this without their support and encouragement. So a big thank you to everybody on the slide and obviously to, to Brooke as well. Thank you. Thank you.